Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're discussing the goodness of God, and last time we talked about how we know that there's only one God. This time, can God ever be divided? Most things and people can be divided if you really want to. Things and bodies can be torn to pieces, and people and groups of people can be conflicted within themselves due to deliberations or disagreements. However, there are good reasons to think that God is less divisible than any other existing thing. To start with, God has a perfectly simple nature, meaning that his nature and his existence are one and the same, to the point where he's even referred to himself by his own simple existence when, at the burning bush, he introduced himself to Moses as, I am. This means that, like a concept or an abstract idea, it isn't possible to divide God into parts. Secondly, the defining characteristic of bodies is that they can be divided into parts, God is not a body, however, so he can't be torn up the way a piece of paper or a body can be. Thirdly, there are a couple of ways for people and groups of people to be divided. Individual people can be conflicted because they haven't decided what to do next and are weighing their options. But this is impossible for God because he's omniscient and always knows what his options are and which action is the right one to take. Finally, groups of people can be divided due to arguments or disagreements between them, but that also is impossible for God, whose moral perfection ensures that he'll always know which action is right, and whose omniscience ensures that he'll always know what the results of his actions will be, and therefore which action is best to take. Because God also has perfect courage to use in making decisions, there's just no room in God for disagreements about what to do next. So God is perfectly united, and it's quite impossible to divide him or create discord within God. Next time, we can begin a new season, tackling the subject of how to use our thoughts to learn these sorts of things for ourselves. See you then. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.